right before the storm too we uh we got lucky because if um that tuesday would have been tonight it may have been a, a, oh, much, different, yes. <laughs> a much different event and in fact like our mardi gras party in 2020 like right before covid um i remember it being seven degrees i think outside and um the parking lot it was at the delta plex in grand rapids and the parking lot was just so slick and um trying to to smoke some doobies uh in seven degree temperatures is a little rough so i was glad like last night i think the temperature was around 28 degrees trust me there were no issues with people being out there and enjoying some well and then it was it's in that enclosed area where you don't get the wind either so it wasn't too bad right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's a, it's an enclosed area. It's like a, a kind of a, a courtyard that's, that's blocked in. And so, yeah, that kind of helps us with the elements. And then of course we had tents set up. And so it was a, it, it was a really fun event. It was, thank you everyone that was a part of it. Um, our sponsors, advertisers, our volunteers. Um, it was just a really fun time and um, got that one past me now, you know, we get to focus on a lot of other events that are already hitting the books for, for this year. So um, next one that's on my calendar will be March 22nd. We are going to be hosting a West Michigan brands and retailers event. We just did one a couple of weeks ago up in Marquette, um, but now we're going to do one in West Michigan. Um, it's going to be on a Wednesday night. And then we're also putting a Southwest Michigan one on the books. And what we do is we're going to go into different areas of the states and, um, you know, host a, an event for brands and retailers in that area and, you know, just really start creating community. And I, I, I'm I excited to do this because we've always hosted our events in, in Lansing, in Detroit, sometimes Grand Rapids, West Michigan. And um, I'm excited to take it into different areas of the state. Us going to Marquette a couple of weeks ago was a lot of fun. And so excited to go down to Southwest Michigan too. Um, if you guys remember, I, I owned a company called Cannabis Connection back 2018 before COVID, 2019. And we used to do these weekly. <laughs> so now we're going to do them monthly. I won't have to work as hard as I did in 2019. Um, but it, it's going to be a lot of fun. It's, it's a more... Um, intimate event and you know great conversations between decision makers and and really driving those relationships which lead to driving sales for all of our partners and then for on april 29th actually we'll talk about hash bash so hash bash is coming up on april 1st um we have we also have a west michigan cannabis guild is hosting a an event, it's a panel discussion that I get to moderate, and I'm sure Landon's going to talk about that a bit. That's going to be on March the sure 2nd. Will. Yay! <laughs> and then um, on April 29th is the 420 Music Festival. That's going to be hosted in Detroit and um, put on by CEP Presents. And then Spark in the Park is on the books for June 10th and 11th. So... You know, if you have an event that you are hosting over the next several months, let us know about it. And I know Josie's probably going to be talking about some of the awesome events that she has going on. I'm excited about the sneaker ball. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, like a, a lot of events going on and hitting the calendar. And so make sure you reach out to us and we'll, we'll get it in the magazine. We'll talk about it here on the show, but that's all I have.